Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create this Instagram carousel if you have a Canva free account and also I'm going to show you how you can easily create this seamless Instagram carousel if you have a Canva Pro account. So if you guys are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Hi everyone, my name is Diana Muñoz and welcome to our channel. For today's tutorial, let's go straight to the Canva homepage and let's go to the search bar. Here, let's type my name without any space, so Diana Muñoz, and then Carousel. Let's hit enter and Canva will take you to this search results page and here we have a bunch of different carousels with different aesthetics. And and at the beginning of this tutorial I mentioned that we were able to create the simple Instagram carousels with a Canva free account and the seamless Instagram carousels with a Canva pro account and I said that because as you can see here the simple Instagram carousel templates that I have here they are completely free and the seamless Instagram carousels like for example this one are available for canva pro users so how do you know which one is a seamless instagram carousel and which one is a simple <laughs> instagram carousel the ones that are completely free they don't have any label at the bottom so these are the simple carousels and the seamless instagram carousels have this little crown and it says as a canva pro subscriber you get this premium image for free so i guess we will start with the simple instagram carousel and i'm going to give you a couple of tips if you are new to canva So let's use, for example, one of these. Let's click on top of the template. Oh, one tip before going to the Canva editor is that you can actually click on this three dots preview this template and here canva opens a new window in which we can have access to the different pages that are available in the same template you can do the same with other templates that you have available here so the three dots preview this template and like this you can make a decision on which template to use for your carousel so let's say that i'm going to use this one let's go to customize this template So you have here to the left a preview of all the pages that are available for this specific template. Below you have access to the five pages and if you want to customize a specific page of the template just go to every single element if you want to change the color so for example this line or this element here go to color you can select the color that you prefer let's say blue, I will go to the other elements and do the same if I want to change the text. I just double click on the text box and change the text. And if you want to make any change to the font or the font size, you have the toolbar available over here. You can also use Canvas library. So you can go to more if you don't see your photos section over here. Go to more, select photos. And here you have Canvas library and just select the photo that you want to use and drag it inside the frame. So this is how you can customize the design inside the template. Just go over every single page and then you will be able to download it as PNG or JPEG and it will be ready to be uploaded to Instagram. At the end of this tutorial, I'm also going to show you guys how to upload a carousel to Instagram in case that you don't know how to do it. So this is it about the simple Instagram carousel post. We don't have to pay attention to many things because this is pretty simple if you want to add more pages just select one of the pages and hit duplicate and then you can just change the number change the title and so on let me close this template and let's customize a seamless instagram carousel for this specific example i'll be using this one right here I click on the three dots so you can have a view of the carousel so i really like these kind of carousels because they have elements or frames 
connecting every single page so that means that when people are sliding through your carousels it seems like if they all were just one image that's pretty aesthetically pleasing so if you have a canva pro account just go to customize this template And here I just want to give you a couple of tips if you are going to be using this template because as I mentioned there are some elements that are going to be connecting from one page to the other page. I hope that makes sense. So let's see for example this frame that we have on page number one. This one should be the same photo as the image that will go on this frame on page number two. So if you want to change the photo on this frame let's go to photos or go to your uploads in case that you have your own photos and let's say that i want to use the same photo that i used before going to insert this photo on the frame and then go to page number two and insert the same photo in the frame that is connecting page number one and if you want to change the color of any element that is present in the design make sure that if the element is on the edge of any page it might have the same element connecting on the next page so here we are on page number one and let's say that i want to change this color to black let's say and then i have to go to page number two and change the element color that we have on this edge of the page to black so like this if i'm going to post this on instagram the element will have the same color and it will look seamlessly seamlessly <laughs> and it would look seamless so this is just something to have into consideration for our carousels to look amazing so yeah just make sure that you are putting the same image on the frames that are on the edges so i will do a couple of changes on this carousel let me use some photos that will go with the same theme as indian wedding or something indian let me go here i will click on this keyword to find more of these beautiful photos and let me change the ones that we have on this carousel so let's say for example this one no this one let me go to the next page maybe this one let's make sure that on the edge we are using the same photo and then lastly this one and maybe uh, actually let's put him on the carousel as well like this if you want to adjust the photo on the frame for example here the face got cropped by the frame shape so if you want to adjust a photo inside a frame just double click on top of it and you will be able to adjust your photo inside the frame so i guess we are done at least with the photos you can of course change the copy of the text and when you are ready to download this carousel just go to download it could be png or jpeg and then download once i have the photos downloaded to my computer i will send them to my phone and i will show you how to upload them to instagram but before i would like to read the comment of the week which is from sumaya fatima i hope i'm pronouncing your name correctly or sumaya <laughs> well it says hi your videos are helping me so much growing my youtube channel i tried all the tips and new tricks to be honest it did work gaining my subs fast thanks again i support you a lot keep uploading fantastic videos that help others at first when i took a look at your channel i was shocked i didn't know a single thing now i know everything <laughs> so thank you so much for this comment this actually makes me super happy because this is one of our goals we want to share our knowledge in order to empower you and help you so i'm very very happy to read your comment today and now let's go to my mobile phone because i would like to show you how you can upload these instagram carousels to instagram <laughs> okay so now i am on my phone and i already have the images in my camera roll let's go to your instagram profile and go to the top click on this plus icon then select 
post. Here we are going to make sure to select this button that has like a double square and then you will be able to select more than just one image for your post. So here we want to be very careful and select the images in the perfect order. If you are not sure which image goes first, which one is second and third, you go to your Canva document and double check. So I know because I'm checking my <laughs> Canva carousel here on the right hand side that this one is the first page and then I can just follow the numbers. So this one is number one, two, three, and this one is the last page. Then let's go to next. And here we can see a little preview of how our carousel is going to look like. And we can double check that everything is looking seamless. And then if everything looks fine and everything is in order, let's go to next. Then you can write your caption, adjust the settings that you want to adjust here and share and then your Instagram carousel has been published. Let me show you how it looks. If I swipe, it seems like everything is just one image and the experience is very cool, I think. So this is the seamless Instagram carousel and I already followed exactly the same steps to post the simple Instagram carousel and here I have it. I just wanted to show you the difference between the free templates. This one that I'm showing you right now it is a free template and the purple one it is a pro template. This is the seamless carousel which has connected elements between the pages. The free one which is this one when I'm um, swiping you see that we don't have connecting elements but still every single page it looks aesthetic and it looks very nice and because this is a free template anyone with a Canva free account or Canva pro account can also access these designs and I would like to know if you guys found this video helpful would you like to have more tutorials like this one but in which I show you a different doc type that you can use you know like different content ideas that you can create from templates that are available in Canva. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in these kind of videos or if instead you would like to learn how to create simple GIFs in Canva. So these are two video ideas that I could create in the following weeks. Let me know in the comments and I'll be reading you. I guess this is it for today. If you want to have more templates free and pro, you can check out my Canva profile. I'm going to leave the link over here and also in the description of the video. If you want to keep learning more about Canva, I'm also going to leave two tutorials here that I think are going to be very helpful. And I guess this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye!